Hi, in this video we will talk about tooltips. So let's click into tooltips and see what we're working with. You already notice as you work with Power BI that when you mouse over a particular data point, a tooltip comes up that provides additional information. For most charts, when you set it up, you have your axis, you have some additional um, chart elements, you usually have a uh, box for values, uh, in this case, now we have two boxes for values, one for um, one X and then another one for the second Y X. Then we also have a tooltip. So if I drag something in my tooltip, so right now I'm using revenue, but let's, let's say I want to see revenue last year. I just drag it to tooltips and now when I mouse over, I will see both measures in the tooltip, revenue and revenue last year. Uh, you may have already see, have seen in the prior lab um, our custom tooltip popped up. So let's click on conditional for a sec and see um, and try to mouse over a country like US or let's say Canada. And you see when you mouse over those countries then you see a tooltip that does not look like a default tooltip. And the reason that tooltip looks different is because I created it from scratch So and uh, this tooltips a lot of times can uh, be a lot more useful than the, the one that comes from uh, by default. So let's uh, go back into our, our tooltip section. Here you will see that we have three different buttons for tooltips. So the first one is the one uh, where we will do our testing. The second one is the uh, something that I kind of left uh, pre-made pre for you guys, like a starting point. Then if you control click go back and then if you go to the third one then you will see the uh, the official one that I would like us to start with so let's talk about what makes a screen a tooltip so we talked about how um, we can add a, a screen power BI we just need to click on a new page All right so here you go we create a new page so just because it's a new page it's not necessarily a tooltip so for us to make this page a tooltip, we need to do a few things. So we're going to go into our page information section. Uh, here we have the name of the page, and that's the same as this part here. And also we see a, an option to turn it on as a tooltip or turn it off. So the other thing here is we see page sizes. By default, it comes in as 16, 16 by 9. You can also change it to 4 by 3. You could change it to letter. You see how the uh, page <clears throat> size changes. Or you could click on tooltip and you could see that below it's a little bit gray, so hopefully it's good to see. By default, uh, a tooltip size is 320 by 240. Just because it's this uh, tooltip pre selects the size, but it doesn't mean that uh, that's the only size that you could do for a tooltip. If you would like to make a tooltip that's not 320 by 240, all you need to do is click on custom and now you can change it to let's say 400 by 400. And now this whole area, um, uh, when you mouse over, will be occupying 400 pixels. So let's close this page or kill this page by clicking on delete page. go back into our main tooltip page and um, <clears throat> let's see how this page is set up so uh, if you click on information right now you see the tooltip is off and the reason that it's off is uh, because we can um, go back to our tooltip and when you mouse over, we see that nothing comes up, right? We don't see that custom tooltip show up. So if I go back here, and all I need to do to make this tooltip become a tooltip, tooltip page become a tooltip is just click on tooltip slider here, make it turn it on. And now if I go back and mouse over, you can see how my custom tooltip shows up. Now the only reason I have this uh, back indicator here is um, 
uh, just to make it easier to navigate. Uh, sometimes uh, I'm not sure how many uh, pages at the bottom we will have by the time we're done with this training. At the time of this uh, recording, uh, there's only uh, bookmarks is the last one we're planning to do in this phase, but we might have more. So just to make it easier for you guys to navigate, <clears throat> I've put this little arrow on there so that uh, you could click back and just you'll go back to where you started. So uh, you can always look for main at the bottom or um, tooltip test. Uh, so if you get stuck or navigation doesn't work for some reason. Uh, so obviously in your tooltips you would not have these arrows. So I just did it for your convenience. Okay. So um, in this case, let's see, page size, I left as it is by default. And then page information, it's set as tooltip. So now let's uh, go back and let's look at the one that we need to build. So here we're starting again with the same screen. We just need to uh, add a few things to it to make it look like the one that we're trying to mimic. So let's go ahead and disable our complete tool tip by going to page information and disabling it. Okay, let's make sure that it's disabled. Okay. And now let's go into the tooltip we're going to be working on. And this is where you need to follow me. Uh, so we're going to start with the screen. We're going to tur turn on the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on the tooltip. Go back and see if now that works. And we see that it does. The only thing that it doesn't help us with, we don't know what this bar is for. So we need to add additional information um, to our tooltip. So let's see if we can get our custom tooltip to work exactly like what the finished one does. So we go back in here. Uh, and the only thing we need to do here is we already have the revenue. So we just need to show uh, the break that down by revenue by company. So we're going to go back and customer, take the company, bring it into access. And now we see um, the five companies. And as it happens, I already have the, uh, the top five filter by revenue just to refresh. If it's been a while since you've taken the filtering lab, the way that is done is we have several types of filtering. We pick the top N, okay? We specify how many we would like to see. It's gonna be five. And then we're gonna drag the revenue metric into the by revenue column. And that's all we need to do to make sure that we only see the top five companies by revenue in this chart. So now if you go back and mouse over, now we see our completed custom tooltip.